वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट वेरिएबल्स इन पावर ऑटोमेट हाउ टू क्रिएट वेरिएबल हाउ टू वर्क विद वेरिएबल्स टू स्टोर वैल्यूज इन योर फ्लोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेरिएबल्स कैन हेल्प यू टू ट्रैक हाउ मेनी टाइम्स अ लूप रन सो दैट फर्दर यू कैन यूज दिस वेरिएबल एज एन इंडेक्स नंबर टू फाइंड आउट स्पेसिफिक एलिमेंट ऑफ एन अरे देर आर सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ वेरिएबल इन पावर ऑटोमेट इंटीजर फ्लोट बुलियन स्ट्रिंग अरे ऑब्जेक्ट ना वन क्विक क्वेरी हेयर वेयर वेरिएबल्स आर यूजफुल देर आर टर्न्स ऑफ सिनारी वेयर यू कैन यूज वेरिएबल्स यू कैन यूज वेरिएबल टू इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द वेरिएबल बाय अ कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू ऑल्सो नोन एज इंक्रीमेंट एंड डिक्रीमेंट अनदर केस कुड बी असाइन अ डिफरेंट वैल्यू टू द वेरिएबल Another case could be insert or append the variable value as the last item in a string or array. There are many scenarios where you can use variables. So variables are very useful. Always remember one thing: scope of a variable in Power Automate is globally. Also, they persist across any loop iteration inside the flow. so whatever or how many number of variable you would like to create you need to declare them at the top of your flow now to create variable there are two methods first come here you can search for variables under variable head you can find all the listed actions related to variable second method you can come here in built in tab click here you can find variable head here as well and these are the all listed variable actions now the first action is initialize variable we'll discuss first about the initialize variable or this action is to create a new variable in your flow click here provide the required information like name what type of variable you want to create and the default value remember you can only declare variables at the global level as i explained not within scopes or condition or loops now give it a name count integer and the default value is 0 so this is how you can create variable or initialize variable and one more thing uh, always remember initialize variable action can create one variable at a time if you want to create more variable then add new initialize variable action now when we have initialized our variable now how we can use the value of the created variable so let me show you that let us add one more action compose compose is basically uh, a dat data operation which you know i will discuss about in the coming video this is again very important data operations in power automate it it is very useful when you are manipulating data so uh, to use the variable there are again two methods the first one is using the dynamic content all the listed variables or uh, the variables you you have created you can find them under the variables head and you can simply select it like this and you are good to go and second way is again come here in expression you can use variables function type variables and the name of your variable something like this and click on okay done now let me test it as you can see here input 0 and the output is 0 because we initialized our variable with default 0 value so this is how you can create and use the value of variables 
Next is increment and decrement variable action. If you want to increment and decrement a variable by a constant value, add the increment variable action to your flow to fulfill this task. Increment action is generally used to count the number of items in a collection or how many times a loop executes. Let me show you how exactly we can use increment variable. Let's say we are going to count the number of employees, basically new hired employees in our backend list, SharePoint list, and further on we'll send that data to our HR head. So this is our list and we want to count the number of employees uh, we hired in this month and we'll send this data to our HR head. Come back here. To achieve this, we need to fetch some data from our backend list. So search for get items. Click here. Select the site and the list name. Filter query. I don't want any null record. Okay. Now next include apply to each. Apply to each. Here it is. Select the output of your previous action. Now select increment variable and the name of your variable with one. After the processing of this, we want to send the count to our HR head. So select send email action, email address of your HR head, provide the required information, So before this, uh, okay, let me include one compose action. Now select the output of this compose to let us test the workflow. Our flow ran successfully. Let me look at the output. As you can see here, total, okay, there is a typo. Let me navigate to my outlook. New hire count. Total number, total new hired in this month is seven. If you come back to the list, if you count here, total and the count. Okay, what is the issue? Total count is seven. So this is how you can use the increment variable in such cases to get the total number of items uh, from your data source. Now in our queue, next is set a variable action. This action is used when you want to assign a different value to an existing variable. How? Let me show you. Suppose we have a variable count and the default value is zero, but I want to change it to one or some other value. Then how you can do that? select set variable select your variable and the new value 
suppose 5 is the new value let me execute it so in the output you can see 5 but the default value was 0 so this is how you can use the set variable action we can remove it from here because we are going to use same functionality for the coming actions next in our queue is append to variable variables that store strings or arrays you can insert or append a new value as the last item in those string or arrays let me show you how we can do that or use the append to variable or like string or array now we are going to use the same example uh, we are going to create a new variable of type string and will fetch all the new hired mail id and will append um, the email ids of new hired employees in in that variable string variable and will send those email ids to our hr head so initialize a variable come here built in select it variable initialize new higher email okay the type is string default nothing now come here increment okay fine now add another action append to string this is the action select your variable name from here and in value we are going to append the email ids of employees so how you can fetch email ids from this loop give the name of your loop apply to each question mark and the column name which is email let me let me check it again okay email is the column name okay fine click on ok include the string here you can do it directly from here let me correct it okay now let us test it our flow ran successfully let me go back to my mail here is the email new hire count this is the count of employees and the email IDs you can format as per your requirement currently just for the demo purpose you know um, how we can use variables so I am not formatting them but we can format I have recorded a video on how to uh, send a customized email using power automate you can check it out or will provide the link in description so this is all about append to variable similarly you can use the append to array action functionality wise both are same so this is all about variables in power automate Hope this information was sufficient to start working with variables in Power Automate. Please subscribe the channel that really motivates. See you.